So I've been um, invited and welcomed out to this beautiful property in Tanana. And we're doing a little bit of a treasure hunting adventure weekend here. We've got a couple of Mine Lab Equinox detectors, some beautiful dogs, uh, onlookers here, and first little target coming up as 2425. We have uncovered this one. And that's that's an interesting <laughs> you gotta put in your hand and <laughs> he's interested. That's a dog tag and the dog wants to eat it. But that's I'm pretty sure that says MASH copyright and it's got a serial number down the bottom there as well. So that's our first interesting discovery for the treasure hunting adventure. We've got some good places that we're keen to have a look at tomorrow as well. An old church block, some old uh, military grounds. This is a very old historic region through Tanana and Maryborough. Beautiful house here, beautiful property. So that's our first little discovery so far. Okay, here we go. We found our first coin. It's a gold nugget coin, two dollar, two dollar coin. I wonder what year. How good are your eyes? Can you you want to identify the the year of it? You tell me the year when you identify. Two thousand and eleven. Two thousand and eleven. Awesome. Oh, that's like even older than me too. <laughs> 2011. Yeah, with our mash. Yeah, well that's our second treasure. That's the so, mash one. First, Two second. The coin. We've got another about another 10 minutes here before the sun goes down yeah. too far. We'll see if we if we can find anything else. But that's an awesome little discovery. Let's have a close up of that one. There it is. Flip it over. Cool. There you go. Rock and roll. Okay, so this is the following morning, beautiful day, it's turned out to be. And we have come down to a place called Police Park at Tinana. And this was an original sort of military um, pathway up through here. We did go down to the creek area down to the left there so we've just been in nature exploring we did make a discovery here beside the path nice signal and we have uncovered what it is we're just about to clean it up but that does look quite old I'll give this to River, she's going to clean it up for us to have a more closer look at it. But we're thinking it's some kind of a, um, a rivet to hold that maybe the leather straps together might be related to the, to the old military days, potentially. Looks to have some good age about it. There you go, thank you. That's a closer, closer look at it there. It's got oxidization in the middle of it. Mmm. Yeah, it looks pretty old. Mm. So that's our first little relic for the treasure hunting adventure today. <laughs> awesome. So we've come up to this next promising block. I don't know if detectorists have already thoroughly canvas through this area but this I did some research here and this it was the Tinana Congregational Church which opened on the 30th of August 1908 and was eventually purchased and taken over by the Baptist Church from 1937 onwards there and this was its location in this corner block here so 
It may have already been detected by other people, but we're going to go down and have a look through this area here, see if we can find any old predestinal coins or relics. So we've come to a nice old park area here and Young River has found, detected, strong coin and we dug down, we had to, had to dig down deep, as you can see there. You can find it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We have Yes, and that is definitely a predecimal coin. And let's clean up, hold it up close to the camera. That looks like a Commonwealth of Australia half penny and it is 1917. We'll just clean the back up, but that's probably a King George V. Commonwealth of Australia, half penny. So let's clean that one up. So you got your cleaning gear. Yeah. So these coins they can be from a long time back as well, could be. Yeah. That's it. One hundred and seven year old predecimal Australian coin. Wow. King George V, Commonwealth of Australia. Are you scratching my jiggy? That was good work to locate that. It was quite deep under the earth. Probably it might have been laying there for close to a hundred years, maybe. Oh, there. Found it. Get the scratchy. Do you need some lemon for that? Ah, no? Uh, no, not those copper ones. No, that lemon juice more for the uh, the silver ones. Yeah. Okay. You can scratch the dirt off, then you get a rag and you wipe wipe it seems to be the best way and it's fun sort of slowly revealing the yeah. detail <laughs> that's part of the fun of it all it's good that it's, it's in quite good condition because you've seen the date of it already 1917 107 year old be nice to clean up the back so you can see the monarch King George the fifth would be on on the back and we got a little should be a little rag in there as well Give it a wipe. We didn't give up on it, did we? We kept searching. You can kind of read it. Yeah. Might need to go the sun a little bit. Turn yeah. Right okay. You want to hold this for a second? And we'll, we'll get some, um, clean it up. Yeah, you can see. You can see King George the Fifth there. Give it one more bit of a clean up with this. Got some little skewers here, they seem to work quite good. Oh, that size is nice, isn't it? Oh. Nice size. <laughs> okay. Maybe shine it in this mm. light here. Uh, give that a wipe. And I'll. I'll take it home and I'll clean it up with some olive olive oil, soak it in some olive oil and then I'll bring it back and you can have this one of course because you, you found that. Let's get some light on it. There it is. So that side's a little bit crowded, but King George V, 1917, one half penny. Okay, there, that's where that 107 year old Commonwealth of Australia half penny that river found there. And just over here, about one metre to the side, we got another signal and it was hitting constant 30. I had a feeling it was a, a definitely a predecimal coin and looking at our discrimination ID chart here, 30 is a 1910 and 1945 silver predecimal shilling and that's exactly what it is. And we're just gonna use a little bit of lemon juice <laughs> That'd be an old coat of arms with a kangaroo and an emu, yeah, that's an old coat of arms. 
Australian 92.5% silver shilling. Let's clean that up to reveal the detail. Two of them, one of them. Magnifying glasses, they're crucial. So if you want to tip some lemon juice onto my hand here, yeah, cool, fair bit, put a fair bit on, yeah, that, and you let it dissolve. And you got the toothbrush ready. You let it dissolve and you kind of rub it in a little bit. This takes a couple minutes. And the lemon juice will dissolve some of the sediment. This is quite an old silver shilling. That other coin was 1917. Okay, let's rub this one. You give it gentle rub this is quite an old one you seek can you see King George V on there? Is that coming up? There it is. We gave that a little bit of a, mm. a clean up with the lemon juice. That's actually 1916, so that's one year prior mm, to that yeah. half penny. 108 years old. And we can see King George V there. That's, that's a 92.5% pure sterling silver per decimal coin mm. that's one of the older ones yeah from i think from 1910 was king edward the mm -hmm. and in the early 1900s and late 1800s was queen victoria it's incredible yeah before you showed me i've never seen these coins before 108 years old amazing so we come down the trail, found the old lead head off a um, old style roofing nail. And look at this beautiful area. You can hear where the weir is. <laughs> Have a look at this area. And yes, we did, of course, uncover our little fishing sinker. And these, <laughs> these guys have discovered another signal up through here, so we'll go up and join them. <laughs> so we're just doing a bit of adventuring and exploring. Got some beautiful little ponies. One, two, another one over there. So I just said farewell to that beautiful family that allowed me to camp on their property overnight. We shared that adventure in that back at Tanana. So I just called in one last place on my way back home. Um, unfortunately, this has got a sign here to keep out construction site, do not enter. <clears throat> so I've been not going there. That's the old Tanana Hall that was originally founded in the 1890s but I think they're raising it up off the ground because it's floodwaters have come through here from the um, from the uh, Mary River and all the surrounding creeks so I thought I might just do the outskirts around here and also try around these old trees just for 15-20 minutes before heading home beautiful day already found them really nice pre-decimal coins that I'm going to clean up and give to Young River to start up her collection. 
so I'll just do 15 or 20 minutes through here. It only took a, a couple of minutes to find the first little item here. It just looks like some old marker plate with all the serial numbers on it. Let's see. So next discovery. exactly sure what that is but that's the next discovery and that's our next one there I have found um, a few of these in the past couple years that bit spins it spins around yeah. If you know exactly what that is, just write a comment in the section under the video. Just found three of those old tarp ring eyelets, I believe they are. Just in that one, one hole there. Head back down this direction. So this come along here, just got about another 10 minutes before I head home. But I'm getting a distinct signal here. Could possibly be the decimal coin. Might set set that up and see what we can uncover. Okay, that is a coin. That is a coin, but I think we're going to know what that one is. That looks very much like a little Aussie one cent coin. Probably in the late 1960s, early 1970s. I'll just quickly clean that up and see what year this little coin was produced. Yes, so that is a little one cent coin, sugar glider possum, but it's been sitting there for a while and I don't think we're going to get a date off that particular one, 
But yeah, be the late 1960s, early 1970s. Okay, that's our final interesting discovery of the treasure hunting adventure weekend. That was coming up with a really strong signal, of course. Ream, use only Ream spanner. Got Brisbane, Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide. So yeah, that'll do us for the weekend. Head back home. But yeah, another relaxing, enjoyable weekend. I'll do the overview video in the next couple of days and I'll put the video out from there. So here we have our overview of the little items discovered, some trash and treasure discoveries from the weekend treasure hunting adventure. It's just the normal little bits of scrap aluminium and so forth in there. Always find the little bottle lids and aluminium lids. Uh, the old ring pulls, these are the older style beaver tail ones, they all come up with about 16 on the discrimination on the Mine Lab Equinox. We weren't taking the treasure hunting too seriously this week. That weekend it was more of a fun adventure, shared adventure. But you always find some interesting items. That was the strongest signal of them all because they're how thick that metal is. Lots of the ring pulls and the um, top, the top eyelets. Um, pretty sure that one, the date of that is 22nd of the uh, 1st, 1971. I think that might be might be the engraving of the date of that of that little plate identification plate they're interesting items always fine found a fair few of these ones not quite sure what those ones are that's a threaded obviously some kind of a tap fitting that one there there some lead lead heads off the old style now that was the first little discovery found at my friend's property and that was a mash name and serial number that was that old television army television show that was around back in the late 70s and early 1980s i think that was what that one was all about and yeah that was an interesting item also found on that old trail through the scrub fishing sinker down near the river another miscellaneous item we found four coins in total which I will give all these ones to young river who came along on that adventure was learning how to do the treasure hunting use their mine lab equinox detector she'll get all these coins of course I just enjoy being out in nature and exploring and soaking up the good vibes. That one's in um, quite good condition on that side. 1917, 107 year old Commonwealth of Australia halfpenny. Slightly cratered on the back, but I did clean it up a bit compared to how it was. King George V. That's a nice little coin, 1917. Then directly after that, we found this 1916 silver shilling, 108 year old coin. 92.5% silver, these old ones were, before 1945. 
then they turned 50% silver after 1946 onwards and then I found that little little one cent possum coin can't really see the date on that but they're usually the late 1960s early 1970s and I'll give River some other better better examples of the little possum and the lizard coins because they actually have they showed me they've got some pet pet lizards and tarantulas and they had a lot of beautiful blue tongue lizard so she really likes the lizard so I'll give her one of the one of my best quality two cent frill neck lizard coins as well we always got plenty of them when you do the metal detecting but yeah that was a good adventure also always find recyclable aluminium cans of course which is good to put them through the recycle yard and pick up the litter that people discarded out in nature so it's a win-win situation there so thank you for following on with the treasure hunting adventure series and i'll try to in the next two or three weeks get out there again to some other location and go on another adventure until then bye for now